Okay, so we've removed the lower console. Now we're going to show you how to remove these two side bits. And then the next video will show you how to take out the actual screen and the other units there. Okay, um, right, far away in. So the, this little, the first thing we do is get this little trim panel underneath the screen out. He's, he's got some pretty fierce clips on him, but he's just clipped in. That's it. Let's have a look at those clips actually. So it's just held in with those two clips there if the camera will focus and go into those two slots there. So that's that out. Right, what are we doing next? All right, those two little T20s. And all these screws are the same. You'll see us get loads of these in the video and they're all the same. The next is like 10 screws. And all the same. Okay, yeah, there we go. Thank you. Right. Now this fascia comes off. Now there's two bits, the silver bit and the grey bit. Now whether they'll both come off together or whether the silver bit come off. I'll just try and get that silver bit off first, maybe. If it comes, if the grey bit comes off with it, let it. Yeah, that's the silver bit, yeah. Bit that's stuck. Oh. There you go, he swings off. Okay. What come off with him? That little bit there, oh, that goes along the front there. We didn't intend that to come off, that was like a bonus. There we go, boink, right. Um, let me do it, you swap over it, give me the little tool, I'll whip that. Now you can do this afterwards, but in fact some people may want to change the start stop switch, and you can do it without taking too much off. If you get the tip, the trim tool in behind it, he does he does come out. He's got a little wire on him, ain't too long. Right, um, okay, so you want to, so if you needed to change the start stop switch because the writing's done, you could actually just do that without doing anything else. So there's a little bonus for you. Um, right, now we can just pull on this cheek, go for the side cheek. Um, right, one thing you might want to do is put your steering wheel up to the top highest position it'll go. We've got the low class, cheapy manual move, so it's easy for us. All you rich kids out there will have more fun, you'll have to it yeah. up. And then we can pull this whole, whoa, look at that, um, that bit there. Now you've got to be careful because some... You sort of got so that's why you want to take your start button out first. Yeah. Um, he, he it does come out. with a pop. Um, another. And you've got some Jenga type moves to try and get. Yeah. This. Get that past that, and then you know that's right. A bit of rotation there. Look. Look at that. Okay, that comes out like that. So where are the clips on that? Um, is they're all round here? One, two, three, four. It sort of springs in and clips in everywhere. That. Okay. Might check that away. All right, and I'll swap back again, I reckon. You got, you're still holding that centre console. Yeah. Eh? That one's a little easier. less complicated, yeah. You've just yeah. got to twist the bottom out. Go on, okay. Because that's where your little air vent cushy things go. Right, and that's, that's it for that. We'll, we'll then do another video and we'll post it here, up there, look, of how to take all the rest of this caper out. All right, good luck with that.